Hi guys, it's Roxy Allen. It's so good. I have canvases that I have just slapped some white paint on top of because I have so many unfinished paintings from playing in classes and showing people little techniques and stuff. So I did this. You can see the painting right through it. It's not going to matter. We're going to do, I'm just going to take um, a little Crayola and we're just going to make kind of a fun snowman. I'm going to go maybe a big, big tummy. So like this kind of thing here. And then let's do a fluffy, fluffy scarf. So maybe it comes around like that. And maybe, I don't know, something like this. So we'll just do some basic shapes. That'll be fun. Okay, so like that sort of thing. So that's pretty easy to do, right? We've got that. We're going to do a big round spot here. I think that'll be fun. And maybe we even let this kind of ride like that. And then let's do a head. Always a good thing. And a nose. Not fabulous at noses, but I think that will be okay. And then we'll give them a little brim. And then the fluffy hat. I think that's pretty good. So for the background, Just realize I need water in my bucket. Okay. So for the background, I want to use, these are the colors I've got right now. I have um, a teal and phthalo blue. I've got a red, a yellow, white, and black, and a burnt sienna, or kind of a medium brown, something rather cinnamony. And I'm going to come on in and I'm going to, what am I going to do? I want to start with the background and I'm going to go teal. So I'm going to grab this guy and start adding this. And pull it up. And what I'm going to do is go light as I get to the top. So I'm grabbing a whole bunch of white. And I'm going to soften this with white. And you can go right over the nose if you want. Um, and maybe we should do that, but it's up to you. Like, yeah, let's just go right over the nose. Because it'll make for a better background if we do. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bright up here, I think. We can always change it. We could go dark and stormy. And this is such a fun thing to do with canvases that are you know, not as well appreciated as they could be. Just throw some white. If you have gesso, throw gesso on it. And then I'm going to do a little yellow over here just to brighten stuff up. Like maybe there's a glow coming from him kind of on the top there. 
something fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I wanna get back into this teal down here and get it nice and beautiful. And on the low low, I'm gonna take a little phthalo blue on my brush and I wanna start adding these colors together. And just see what you like. If it works, great. If not, we'll do something else. But because this had a painting underneath it, I'd like it to be fairly rugged. I don't want it too, too nice and neat because then it'll be hard to maintain. Okay, let's see what we've got here. What do we think? Yeah! Okay, now for the body of this guy. So I'm gonna actually wash off, no, I'm gonna go into the, the middle part here. And I want to do something, do we wanna go grayish on the snowman? That would be kind of fun with a bright red scarf. Maybe grayish on the snowman with a bright red scarf. Okay, so I'm going in with black. I still have a dirty brush. I am fine with that and I'm coming in to make some fun gray. And I'm gonna go in the nooks and crannies and go a little darker than I think I'm going to want, if that makes sense. Okay. And now, so I've got my little outline, wipe it off. Grab a nice hunk of white and start mushing it around. Give yourself a nice, a nice line. It's fine, these colors are gonna mesh a little. Nothing wrong with that. He's part of his environment. Wipe your brush off, grab a hunk of white, come on in. And we're doing gray because it really covers everything up. Really, really covers everything up. And if you need to, I like to soften with my fingers. See how we do. <laughs> He's so cute. Let's do the face. So I'm gonna go a little, try to match it to this kind of color. I'm gonna come down a little lower and I'm gonna go a little dark right in there. I'm just going to get all of that and then immediately go into white. And let's just cover up all of that good stuff in there. All of that good stuff. And let's brighten up his face a little. Maybe it's a her. Maybe you have a snow woman. Cute. Okay, so think, think, think. What color do we want this good stuff? So you can go anything you want to do. I think I'm gonna go red and brown. So I've got red and I'm gonna start by just adding a thin layer I didn't wash my brush, but you can. And 
going to let that kind of get in here. And I know it's not exactly bright red. Yep, that's okay. Okay. And then maybe I come in with, I'm going to go with more of a fuzzy red up here. And I want to do that because the painting that I'm covering up had some texture, not intentionally, but that's just how it went. And so doing this will give me some fun texture. Okay, and I'm going to go in here. Easy peasy. Good. And then up here, I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to go with the brown. And some of that color went shining through, and I like it, so I'm going to pull it off. And that's kind of fun. And then I'm going to go a little dark in here. Probably going to wait. So um, ooh, I, think I accidentally, so you've got some brown in there. And yeah, I think that's cute. Let's do some nose, a little bit of the nose. Um, orange. And in this case, this is nice and dry. So I'm gonna take my white and gently add a little orange to it. And I'm gonna get the to to <laughs> um, I'm gonna put it where I want it first and then maybe expand it a little. And I think that's great. I think that's fun. And when this dries, I'm going to add a brightness to it. But this is a nice base. And if you don't use white, um, you can totally do just straight white if you want. But if you don't use white, you're going to see this color behind it. And it'll make that orange look dingy. So when this dries, then we can add a bunch of white to it. Or not white, but the orange. And it'll really brighten it up. Okay. So... Now, I need eyeballs. Grabbing the back of my brush, okay? The back of my brush. Pulling that in. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. Here, here, here. Pretty cute. And you could even do bigger eyes if you want. Maybe I'll do slightly larger eyes. <laughs> and then, yeah, I like that. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm gonna take my quarter inch wash brush 
dabbing it in my paint. And I'm going to give it just a little loop. And you could do an O. Oh, I should have done an O. You know what? Can I still do an O? I want to see. Let me see what it's like. Just wipe it off. Oh, now he looks toothy. <laughs> I'm going to see. Okay, when that dries, I'll give it an O and see if we like that better. But that's super cute. Now I want to play with my scarf a little. And I'm going to grab straight red and I want to brighten this up. Brighten it up. And grab a little more red and brighten that up. And then grab some black and go in the little nooks and crannies. And you can do this with brown if you want something more vintagey. And I soften with my finger like that. And you can do this with, you could do the shadowing with um, brown or blue. Okay, pull that down. And then I'm gonna go black and brown. So black and brown in this little guy. So it's all twisted up. And then I'm gonna go dark again. Got the red with a little black right in here. Ah, a little more black right in there. And then I'm going to soften with my finger. And I just kind of do little circles. And that way it's going to look a little fuzzy. And... Up here, I want to wash off my brush. Wash it off. Wash it off. And I'm going to add some white to my red. Some white to my red. And you can add a little dab or two, and then let's do it up here too. Something like that. And do we want big buttons? I want to do big oval buttons. So I've got my one inch wash brush and I'm just bringing them down like this. Maybe three of them. And my brush is dirty. So I have all sorts of funky colors on that. And when that dries, I'll give some buttonholes. And then you can sort of decide, what else do we want on this guy? Is his nose dry? Not really, but we can come in and do straight orange now. And I would go from the bottom up. Okay. Let's 
see if you like that. And you can add a little brown. If you want to, I don't know if you can see that. I don't love it. So I'm going to soften it. I think that's fun. Okay. Let's see if we can do a little O. See if we like the O. Back of the brush. Oh. Um, do I want to do an O? I don't know, you guys. What do I do? Do I want an O? Okay, I'm going to do an O and see what happens. Hmm. I don't know. Which one do we like? We could do... I think I kind of like... Oh, he's so cute. We like that. Maybe a little higher on one side. Huh? I don't know. I don't know which, which one I like better. So maybe I just wipe it off and figure it out. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I say we just wipe it off. If it's not coming off so well, like if you just did what I did, then... Pull it with a clean baby wipe and then just add your white and stuff back. Just add it back. Oh, it's yellow. Perfect. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter how many times you do this stuff. Oh, it always ends up crazy. Always end up revamping, playing with it. Pull it up. There we go. And I like that. I'm going to wait. And maybe, maybe I don't give him a mouth. I don't know. We'll see. And then I am going to take the back of this brush and do some little buttonholes. And then I do want to take the back of the brush and do some snow. And I don't want to clutter this up too much. And maybe, you know, I do love my stars. So maybe I put in just a fun little star. And if you can't see that, just did that. Maybe we add some hairish, so he looks like he's part of it. Okay. And 
And maybe we'll just see if we like it. I'm going to take, let's see if I can do this in a way that you guys can see it really well. There we go. I don't know. Do we like it dark? Do we like it light? And if you don't like it, then again, you grab some and you just wipe it off. And I don't, you, I'm not even going to wipe it off so much as I'm going to call that okay. And maybe, oh, I know what I want. I want a little moon. So I'm going to grab, I've got white. And I'm going to, which way? Do I want a little moon? I think that's the way to go. Okay, and I'll do a nice dark spot in there. I'm going to soften with my finger. And when that's dry, when that is dry, I'll add some white. And I think he's great. I think he's super fun. I don't think we really need to add any more. I just want to get this moon. Yep, I definitely need to wait until it's dry. For the sake of the live stream. I'm going to go like this and get rid of it. Good. Good. And then I say we're done, except for the moon. I still want a moon up there. I need to wait for it to dry. Okay. Can you see this? I think and that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for playing. Show me what you do in the, you know, the things down there. So show me what you do. Um, I want to see it and have fun. Have a holly jolly winter and I'll see you soon. Bye.